My cancer journey started in 1999 when I was 10 years old. I was diagnosed with diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma, or DIPG, which is a rare form of brain cancer. Um, my tumor is about the size of a lemon, and it's in my brain stem. Um, it was really kind of totally by chance that we even found out. Um, I had been wrestling with one of my brothers, and I tripped and hit my head on his knee. And I had headaches for a few days, so... Um, we, a nurse at my school also saw that one of my eyes was more dilated than the other. So she's like, you know, let's get a CAT scan. Let's just make sure everything's okay. She probably just has a concussion. Um, but so I got a CAT scan and then basically immediately right after that, they're like, you need to go get an MRI right away. And, um, so my parents took me, uh, and I got an MRI and that showed that I did have, um, a mass on my brain stem. Um, other than that, there's not... I don't have too many side effects from it. I do have a lazy uh, eye, and um, I get headaches a lot. And um, when I was younger, like a teenager and stuff, um, I would get really bad stomach aches. But um, for the most part, uh, that's pretty much all the side effects I have. Um, also, kind of some balance issues at times. For my treatment, uh, my parents opted for an alternative treatment. They had uh, read a study that had shown some success using Accutane to treat uh, brain tumors. Accutane's an acne medicine, so um, I took that for 21 months. I did it two weeks on, two weeks off, uh, about 50 to 100 times in normal dosage. Um, and then my dad was also in contact with a nutritionist who specializes in working with cancer patients. And so she suggested a number of nutritional supplements that I should take. Uh, some of them were like immune system boosters and green tea pills, uh, fish oil pills. And then uh, honestly, a lot that I don't even remember. Um, I think at the peak, I was taking like 24 to 27 pills a day. Um, and then, like I said, I did Accutane for about 21 months. Um, it was tough. It had some bad side effects. It really, uh, dried out my skin a lot. I would have nosebleeds that would last for like an hour or more. Um, I would bleed from the ears here. Um, I actually have a permanent scar on my lip from my lips getting cracked open all the time because they would get really chapped. Um, and so then... I remain as I remain stable. Uh, we slowly kind of backed me off the Accutane just because the side effects were pretty rough. Um, I know mentally it was pretty tough on my mental health. It made me pretty depressed. Um, I actually, it wasn't for a number of years later until I learned that it was like the Accutane that caused that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what my treatment was. Um, I I also kind of slowly backed off the uh, nutritional supplements, and now for about 10 or more years, I haven't really uh, taken any treatment, um, any medicine or anything. Right now, we're just kind of monitoring it. I go for a checkup once a year. I get an MRI, everything, and uh, thankfully, everything's remained stable. I am lucky. I have a really great support system, um, both my family. Uh, my mom and dad and I have two older brothers. Uh, they've always been really great in supporting me uh, through the whole process. I, I even remember uh, waking up after surgery when I got my port cath in uh, about a week after I was diagnosed and uh, kind of was still like mostly asleep from the anesthesia and I just remember hearing uh, both my brother's voices. So uh, knowing that they were in the room with me, that was pretty, uh, special and memorable to me and then also just um my friends uh i have awesome friends and uh they've they've always been really supportive for me and um they were actually kind of the ones that really encouraged me to speak up and share my story